Hey guys, it's BW and we're back out in the garage. We got our heater core box up here, we're looking at it. It was one of the few things that actually came with the shell when I bought it. <laughs> I didn't have any parts that came with this thing, but this, this was with it. It uh, looks like somebody cut it up and we're gonna try to fix it and put it back the way it was. I'm gonna blow this thing apart, but before I do, I wanna, you guys can see this, this, this doesn't belong like this. I, I actually thought there was a piece missing from it and there sure is and it was cut out you see the cuts somebody just and I have no idea why somebody cut it up but we're gonna put it back <laughs> I made a template and we're gonna put it back we're gonna what do they call that cut and butt this back together all right and after I get it repaired then we'll blow the box apart all right I'm even gonna put, try to put this lip back on here the whole way around. I have the crimping machine to do it, so we'll give it a shot. All right, let me get set up. I have a piece of scrap. Let me get the template cut out, get the metal cleaned up, and I'll bring you guys back in. Yeah, I'm just gonna copy this right here. Picture's worth a thousand words guys well I cut that piece I'm just getting ready to tack it together figure I'll bring you in and let you check it out I'm just gonna tack it along here I'll worry about bending down here and over here I'll get it tacked and maybe move this down a little bit but we'll kind of play with it with these lips on the end afterwards the important thing is now let's just get this tacked in place and then uh, we'll take it from there Our battery on our GoPro went dead again. It's, it's, it's plugged in to itself. You can see I got it plugged in, so I got to carry the cord with us as we do this. I, I think I got to get a second battery. I lost the door. Maybe I got to get another camera. I don't know. But the battery seems like it's going down quick. Anyway, we went ahead and we, we uh, not, uh, cut and butt this together. And it's, you know, it's all right. It's not the greatest in the world, but it'll work. All right, so now I want to just take the box apart and I want to put this seam back in it we got that crimper over there and I'm, I'm gonna crimp it and just 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 make it look like it it did sort of I guess we'll, we'll give it a try and see how, how it does so, all right so let's hang out and do that
I think it looks pretty much go ahead and take a chance and unplug this battery for a minute all right so there's your there's your factory lip then we come up there's our lip looks pretty good man <laughs> yeah when I was looking I took a quick peek in here but you know the the uh, cut and butt works it's welded on the bottom you never see it. so we're good we were able to successfully uh, repair our box it's really filthy in this cellar end, man. Check this out. Oh, I mean, it's a mess in here. So I'm gonna clean it out. And then uh, I think we wanna check and see if this core is any good. Maybe, uh, maybe I unscrew it and pull it off of there and take it apart. I don't know. We'll look at it. Well, let's clean it. I think I'm gonna do all that tomorrow. We'll get it all cleaned up. We'll take a look at it and see what we got. All right, it's getting late. It's like an hour past my bedtime and I haven't even showered yet. But what I want to do is I'm going to screw this back on real quick. Just just a few screws. I want to see what it looks like with the with the lip on. I mean, it's just for appearances. Just keeping busy. In case you guys didn't realize, I'm keeping busy until some parts get here. <laughs> so that's why we're working on this. Let's take a look at it together. All right, you see coming up through there, and then uh, we got the nice little lip there. And I tell you, when we put the two screws, see there was two. There's a hole there and a hole there. I kind of lined them up, and so I, you know, we put a couple screws there. It's going to suck that all together, just like everything else. See how there's a there's a gap until you put the screws together. So I feel like that's a quality repair. So we got to pretty cool heater cool heater box again so we're gonna use it we fixed it we're gonna use it so tomorrow I'll come back out we'll start cleaning this up and see what see if this uh, heater core is any good I don't know Okay guys, well you saw me just heating up that vinyl tubing a little bit just so I could force it over the ends of this heater core. All right, we got air hooked up to it. My front gauge doesn't work, so my side gauge, I got it just under 10 pounds, right around 10 pounds. You'd really, I guess they say you don't want to go over 14 pounds for this kind of stuff, but I figure 10 is good enough if we're going to have a leak or detect it. Right now, it's just, you know, this is kind of hokey. I didn't have any fittings. <laughs> just using what I have just to run air through it. The valve seems to be working fine. So, all right. Now I just want to spray it down with some soap water and see if we got any leaks.
I guess I could take it out and run it in a bucket of water or something, but I figure I, I don't I think it's good. I will tell you guys this though, man. It, the, own, the previous owner of this car, he must have sandblasted this car with this in it. You should have seen the sand that blew out of this thing. The valve's leaking. You guys see that? Look at there. All right. All right, guys. Well, as you saw, our heater control valve failed the pressure test. No big deal. We'll get one on order. I think in the meantime, I'll jump back over into the trunk area and make up some brackets to hold down our fuel cell. That'll keep us busy for a while, right? <laughs> I, we did make some good headway. We, we were able to repair the sheet metal that somebody cut up on the cover for this uh, heater box. So I'm happy about that. And when the control valve comes in, I'll bring you guys back in. We'll take it apart, put it together. No big deal, right? <laughs> Such is life. I hope you guys found this video entertaining, if not useful, and hopefully a little bit of both. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, I'd appreciate it if you went ahead and did that right now. I could use all the support I can get. All right, so until next time, take care, everybody.